Hello, Cancer. I am Ulrich. I am a Lenore Monk Art Reader, and today we will do your Lenore Monk Art Reading for uh, the month of April. Um, we will see where the cards lead us. We will not uh, start with a uh, with a preset topic, but mostly the cards lead us very fast where we need to go, and we uh, very uh, fast can see the topics that are playing for the month to come. Anyway, uh, Cancer, here we go, and we will see what the, cold, uh, the cards hold for you for the months of April. So, Cancer, here we go. Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your um, card reading for the month, the normal card reading for the month of April. Your first card here, we see the book here. Uh, the book here, it tells us maybe there's something going on we cannot see clearly now. Um, especially when here it falls on the on the first card, so things in your life might not be clear. It's like um, there's a mystery here around our life. Uh, sometimes here with this card, the best thing to do or the advice that we get here is not to reveal certain plans that we have made in any way. We should keep it to ourselves here, what we are planning. It's a very wise thing to do here. If we don't speak, we cannot get problems if, uh, if something would come out. Um, anyway, here, um, if this is about intellectual pursuits, if this is about education, the answer is positive because the card would tell you that you should go into education. If you are in education or you're learning, this is a very positive thing to do with this card here. Uh, you should be patient here and pay attention to the details in all your education. As the central card here, we have the mountain. Uh, the mountain is a card it represents difficulties, but it also has positive sides. It, it, it is the card that is related to abroad here, but it tells us, of course, to, it advises us to be strong, to stand on our ground here. Um, it can also mean that you're planning uh, some travel. Uh, this is possible also. Maybe you're traveling for reaching certain goals in your life here. This is what we are uh, seeing here uh, with this combination. Um, anyway, some important things in our life are about to happen. This is what we are seeing. It's possible also that we need to overcome some obstacles in our life. Um, it's possible with the mountain in the center card that some person uh, in our environment is quite stubborn. This is what we are seeing here and we need to deal with stubborn uh, persons or we come face to face with them. Sometimes also it points that we could be facing certain enemies. This is what we are uh, seeing here, uh, but you need to see it in your personal context. Um, then we gonna do uh, first for starters, the vertical lines. You see the three vertical lines here. The first line is what is in the near past. This is uh, the current situation and this is the future. So we will try to make sense out of this uh, now here, what we are seeing here. So um, we have the book and the fish here. Um, this Normally this is pointing to uh, our financial affairs or something financially is normally it should be improving, but probably there will need to be some focus. So if you want to improve your financial situation, probably there need to be some focus on, especially with the clouds here, since some things are not 100% clear. It's possible also that there is a promotion, but it's not yet sure when this promotion will, will come. Anyway, again, here we see that you will have very good benefits if you focus on education, on studies here related to business also. Education is very good here. Um, if you focus also on your uh, financial health, this would be a good thing to do. So keep your uh, finances uh, on a short leash here. This is what we are seeing here. Sometimes also it points that we do a certain education and this education might be quite expensive, maybe it has to do with an education related to money, to accountancy, to books, to administration. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Uh, sometimes also uh, it can point that um, if we don't have an official job because we are studying uh, or we are studying a site that we have an, um, a, a, a job that is not of official, like we uh, earn money off the books. This is what we are uh, seeing here also with this uh, combination. It could sometimes it points also to secret uh, bank accounts. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this education. But in general, it tells us that the education that we are following is not cheap. Then we have the fish and the clouds here. Uh, it's possible 
maybe there is no reason to worry, but it's possible here there are some worries about monies and finances here. Uh, we know that cancer is a sign that is easy to worry. We will see later on if these worries are, uh, are, uh, are real or if it's uh, more imagined. We just see here where we are going here, but uh, there, is, uh, there could be uh, some concerns here. Um, what we see here with the width often that, uh, that we need to that we need to do a lot of efforts. Maybe we need to do a lot of efforts for earning money. This is possible. And maybe that worries you because you need to do a lot of efforts for us here. It's like possible here that you're struggling here for earning more money. Um, Sometimes also it's, it's, it could be that we are a little bit under the weather. This is possible also, and that it takes a lot of effort for us to earn the money that, uh, that, we, are, uh, that we need to obtain here. Um, sometimes also, uh, if we work in a certain job, it could be that we need to find out a lot of things for ourselves. And that it's like there is no clear thing. We have no guidance. We don't know what to do. It's like we need to find it all out all out ourselves. This is what we are seeing here. It's like we left a little bit on our own here uh, with this uh, combination of, of, of cards. But the only thing to do in such an unclean, clear situation is focusing on the thing here. Uh, we need to focus, we need to keep our focus here, even though the situation might be unclear. Then we are the, in the present situation here, we have the stork, uh, the mountain and uh, the anchor. The stork and the mountain here, it tells us that um, again here we see travel that is possible here. It's possible that you consider foreign travel here because these are two, this is the migrating bird. So this bird, he travels, but it's possible you come back. But here we see that there is some intention here for going in abroad here. This is, uh, it's possible also that with this travel that you're doing, uh, some people are shocked about that. Maybe they don't know why you take this trip or why you're, uh, why you're planning to take this trip. It's like they don't understand here. Maybe this is a trip you're taking for advancing yourself, for uprooting yourself. This is what we are seeing here. But there will be some challenges with the mountain that we are confronted with. It's like sometimes we could feel that we are blocked, we are not advancing. There could be some setbacks, delays here. This is all what we experience with the mountain. Uh, but here with the anchor, we should push through here. This is what we are. So we should not give up here, even though we think we are in a standstill. It's not necessarily the case. It might be seen that we are in a standstill and the situation could be difficult here, but it's not necessarily mean that things are not moving. This is what we are seeing here. This could be a very slow transformation process here with difficulties that are going on. The only thing we can do if it's too difficult is let the natural process of time take his, um, take his time. This is what we are seeing here. We cannot move the mountain. We cannot force it. We cannot, we cannot do nothing. The, the mountain is a cart of time. And even if you would find a way to go around the problem, the time that you'll be around would also be the time that you are waiting. So we cannot force, we can do nothing here, but we should stand our ground here with uh, this card. Um, but there could be some conflicts here, uh, challenges here that's, that's we are seeing here. It's possible that the lesson that we need to learn in our life is mastering these difficulties. This could be uh, what is it's all about here uh, with this card. Um, but there will be some difficulties. Then we have the mountain and the anchor here. This points again to a foothold abroad. Maybe you're overthinking for moving abroad. Maybe it's not easy to move over, uh, uh, abroad here. This is what we are seeing here. Maybe we are thinking about making certain investments in abroad here. This is what, uh, what these two cards tell us here. Um, but we could feel a little bit st uh, uh, stuck here, as I as I said here. Also, on the workplace, things are not working out as you as you would like them to be. We have a lot of blockages. It's difficult here. There's, it's like a status quo in our life here. But this is only temporary. It's it's going to change on the long run. This is only a temporary situation. But you could experience this now. Also, sometimes it could be that we are un willing to see the problem. It's like there's an elephant in the room 
and we, re we refuse to see the elephant. This is what we are seeing here also with this uh, combination. Sometimes with this combination also, if you are planning on some weight loss, it's difficult to lose weight. If we want to lose weight, we actually need to move a lot. We have the store gear. If there is no moving, the weight uh, tends to stay on us. This is what we are seeing here uh, if this would be in your planning. Then we have the heart. Uh, the whip and the woman. This is the person card. Um, so here, this is above your person. We have the whip and the, the heart and the whip here. Here we see here that um, if you have a certain partner in your life, there could be quarrels with the partner. Um, there's th This points also to uh, a quarrel between lovers here. Um, this is what we are seeing here. Sometimes also, if there is wisdom enough, uh, some cooling off period, because the mountain is a cool card. And if we are in some struggle with a partner or with a lover, sometimes with, with uh, things let cool down a little bit, things become more clear. So this could be something uh, that we could in, apply here with this card, but it doesn't mean, because here we see this is the whip and this is the heart, so you can make the connection yourself. This is pain of our heart. There is a certain pain in our heart, maybe because of these arguments, maybe because of these quarrels here. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this, uh, with this combination. Sometimes here it's like we meet hate with compassion here. It doesn't mean there is no sexual desire. There is. Here with this card, there is a sexual desire, but the, the love that we are experiencing, it's like a tough love. It's not easy. A challenging romance. This is what we are seeing here, but there's a lot of physical attraction. There's no lack of that here, but um, maybe one of both has lack of discipline. This is what we are seeing here. It's like always on and off. This is what we are seeing here because the whip is double. This is what we are seeing here also with this uh, combination. After this whole thing is cooled down a little bit, we could reconciliate uh, about this argument. Maybe we come back together here. This is what we are seeing here. But we could be after uh, when this first contact is made for the recontact, we could be a little bit cynical. This is what we are seeing here. And even if there is a re-meeting, some hard words, uh, words could still fall here. But uh, we are here, um, we could hear, but we justice here could be implemented, but uh, we could have a broken heart here also. Then we have the whip here over the person card. Uh, what does this tell us? Well, there is a quarrel with a woman here. Uh, this could be a quarreling woman uh, that we are seeing here. It could be that the woman is quarreling uh, or the woman is uh, initiating the quarrel. This is what we are seeing here, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean that if you are the woman here, it could also mean that you are somehow intertwined in this quarrel, but maybe you're tired of it and you are the one who initiate the quarrel. This is what we are seeing here. Um, we see here also a person who will talk. There will be a lot of conversation here, direct conversation. This is like a lawyer here that we are seeing here. This person will talk very forward, but it could also be uh, your lover here who is very forward. So here we see that one of both partners is very forward here. This is what we are seeing here. There will be a lot of criticizing uh, to, towards each each other here. Maybe there's not enough practicality here. That is, this is also possible here with this uh, combination of cards. But there could be um, even some aggressivity here towards each other. But in the end, if we let it cool down enough, we will be willing to make amends. Uh, then we uh, go in the horizontal lines. But we will first mirror the corners here. We see uh, the book and the heart here. If we mirror them towards each other like this here, um, what does this tell us? Well, here we we tell us it tells us that um, there might be somebody around us that has unrevealed feelings for us. They have intentions to us, but maybe we didn't notice it yet. And due to, we might have some difficulties and we might encounter that, that a person has actually feelings for it, but we are not aware of it. Or maybe this person, he hides it, he or she hides it. There could be a secret love going on, but I don't mean between the partners, but this person could be secretly in love. There is no, uh, in this reading here, in the short reading that I have, there is no triangle relationship. There is no out of the marriage here or out of the relationship, but it's more like somebody is secretly in love with a person. This is what we are seeing here. But there is no action being taken so far. This is what we are seeing here. Um, 
but it's possible um, due to uh, quarrels, but I cannot see uh, for any further. Uh, it's possible that that if this person would reveal his feelings or you would reveal your feelings, something could be growing out of that, like an illicit affair. But of course, you have the things under control. It's up to you. But somebody in your surrounding has secret feelings for you. This person is thinking or about that, and or maybe you think about that. But you will get to know this. But for now, it's the book there. It's still secret, but it's there. It's there. You might not realize it here. It's like a secret admirer or admirers here that we are having here. And this could lead to an affair, a secret crush here that we are having, especially if we have a lot of, um, a lot of problems in our current relationship here. This is what we are seeing here. Um, it's possible if you are the one that having feelings for somebody else, you keep it to yourself. You will not reveal it. And maybe that's the wise thing to do also because there's an understanding here, maybe for not to go into that. But it doesn't mean it's not gonna happen on the long, a long run. It's possible that this person that you have encountered, it's like when you are close to each other, it's like you know each other by heart and very few words need to be said. This is what we are seeing here with the corner cards. Then we're gonna do the bottom here. We have the clouds and the woman. This uh, relates to the, to the person here again. This could be you as a woman, or if you're a man, it can be also because we do a general reading here. And uh, what we see here um, that there's a woman or a person who could cause certain tensions. Somebody also could envy you. Um, it doesn't necessarily have, have to affect you, but it could be there. There could be something there here. We also could go, go through some challenges here. This is what we are seeing. It's like we cannot see things cloud and, and we, we cannot have directly with the first card a solution for it. This could be a very confusing situation here uh, related to the relationships that we are in here. In another way, it could also be an ex-partner who is somehow still intertwined in our life. Maybe this person is troubled. He brings us trouble. He or she brings us trouble because it could be a man and a woman. But somebody brings us, could bring us here problem out of a previous relationship or a relationship that happened before. Maybe this person is unreliable, not clear. Some things happen, maybe untrustworthy. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. And it's like you're thinking about the past and what to do with it. Um, and you try not to deal with it in a negative way and you feel there are some psychological issues here uh, going on here. It's possible that one of both also has some fears here and there's some insecurity here, confusion. This is what we are seeing here. It's like you need to find it out yourself and you can rely on nobody for certain guidance. This is what we are seeing here. It's like we literally, we literally need to battle here with, with certain miseries here. This could be related to the ex-partner. This is what uh, we are seeing here. Then we're gonna uh, go for the whole horizontal line here. Uh, then we have the book and the stork here. Um, on the long run, a certain secret will be revealed. I told you before, there is somebody here who admires you or you are admiring somebody. This will be revealed because the stork is revealing. Uh, it might be a big shock here that um, you are in love with this person or this person is in love with you. For one of both, it will be a big shock. This is what we are, uh, what we are seeing. And we literally could move forward in this relationship here. This is what we are doing. Um, I also want to mention for some people, this points to studies related to changes. This, this could be that you study something related to changes uh, like um, for uh, pregnancy, changes in life. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. Of course, this will not uh, reply, uh, apply on everybody. But anyway, we see here that we get uh, more knowledge, uh, new discoveries that we are doing as we are, uh, as we are studying. Uh, some people could uh, study birds also. This is possible also, but it will not apply on everybody. Anyway, we see here that these transformations, the store, is not a fast bird. When he moves from one country to another, his voyage is long. So it, this process takes a while. He, it's not fast, fast. He's not arriving in one day. It, this whole process takes him a few months. And this is what we are seeing here. So there is a slow 
changing process here go, uh, going on here. Um, but these, you will see that these changes are true, but they go slowly. This is what we are seeing here. And you will see this as a truth of a truly transition. And in this transition also, there are truths included. Also, we ourselves, if we are studying, we are very hungry to get more knowledge. This is what we are seeing here. We are very hungry to change our intellect, to get more knowledge. This is what we are seeing here. It's possible that you are um, a smart person by nature, but you want to confirm it in the books. This is what we are seeing here. Um, you Maybe you have forgotten that you are smart, but here, as you study, you remember here that you are actually a quite a smart person. This is what we are seeing here. But there is intelligence here. This is what we are seeing. And slowly you accept again who you are. This is what we are seeing here. Some things that you will need to learn will take time to understand. It's not because we are uh, intelligent that we everything understand from the first moment. Sometimes it will take a while. Then we have the stork and the heart here. Uh, we literally see here that we get a change of heart here. Um, this could be a serious transformation that is overcoming you. Uh, there's This is um, like amorous exchanges here, positive events here. For some people, it will be the next step that you engage actually in se sex and sensuality. So it's up to you. You are, of course, you are the one who makes the decision, but there is change here in our feelings. The, the stork is the birth of changes and we have the heart here. So it means we have a change of heart. Love will transform, can transform you. We develop in a certain relationship. If we had troubles in another relationship, something new can be born. The stork is from all times a, a, a bird, a, a, a bird that is connected to birth, but this can be a birth of love, a birth of emotions. This is what we are seeing here. It's possible also with the stork, I need to say that, because the stork, he goes to, uh, to a foreign country for being in the warm, always, he don't like the cold. So he's always moving in the winter time to warm countries. He goes from Europe to Africa for overwintering there. And it means it, this brings a changes from here. And here, like, it's like, it's possible that this person that you connect with was in your heart since before, but somehow this relationship get interrupted because the stork, he returns where he is born. So you get the picture here. It's possible that this person was in your life before. Maybe you were in love with that person before and you reconnect with each other since the bird is uh, coming back and he's uh, coming back into your life. The lover literally returns here or somebody uh, was in your life before. It's like we rekindle an old love here and we yearn for that love. Maybe there were some issues before with this person. But we are already past that. We want to forgive and we want to go into that here. There's a transition here uh, going on. Things have changed now. Uh, conditions are changed. And maybe you are ready for this here. This is what we are seeing here. Certain changes in your life will create this possibility to love. This is what we are seeing here. Then we go in the second line. We have the fish, um, the mountain, and the whip here. Uh, it's possible that you invest money in abroad or you're thinking about that or that you're thinking about commercial activities in abroad. This is what we are seeing here. It could also be that money is tied up in abroad or an online business that, because the mountain is also uh, online. So it's possible that somehow your business is connected to online and in abroad. Um, it's possible that it's not easy for getting this whole thing off the ground. With the whip, we need to do efforts and we could put money in there, but the returns might not be as expected for now. But this could be a temporary situation. I mentioned before that there are certain delays that the mountain can block certain things, but it's not gonna stay there forever. This is a temporary situation that we are seeing here. We could feel also a lack of independence that we are chained or blocked by somebody. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination. It's like our financial situation could be stagnant for now. It's like we cannot move it. I, 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 I mentioned this earlier. It's possible also we are hoarding our money. We keep our money like a, like a hamster, like a squirrel for, for saving that we, if things would go uh, 
would go bad here. This is what we are seeing here. Um, in another way, if there is an obstacle, and if you are creative, this could be an obstacle to make profits. But it will not apply on everybody. But this is the positive side. For some people, it will work. So even if you're, there is an obstacle, even for giving an example, uh, let's assume um, there is a war situation going on. It's, it's known fact that some people make profits out of war. This is an extreme example, but I'm giving this example because we have the whip here. The whip is an assertive card. That's why I'm giving the example. So some people get rich out of war or, or get very well off because of war. And this also is possible that you, because of an obstacle, you start to do well. So that's the other side. So there are always two sides on the cards. This is what we are seeing here. Then we have uh, the mountain and the whip on itself here. Uh, there could be a confrontation again here with an enemy, uh, with a certain person. This could be a business confrontation also with, with, with we are, uh, that we are seeing here. If this confirmation takes place, you will not hold back um, because with the whip, we don't hold back. Even though it's not easy to explain how we are feeling, we will go for it. We will not hold back. This is what we are seeing here. But uh, be wise, know when to stop. Because with the book, also, we need to be calm. With the mountain, we need to be calm. It doesn't mean you cannot say your opinion. But be careful that this thing don't escalate or goes where, it you, where you don't want it to go. With the whip, sometimes we need to be careful. Um, there could be some uh, tough uh, discussion here, a struggle here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. It's possible also if we start asking questions that these people are unwilling to reply to the questions and it could form some irritation here. And it's like the same problem is always popping up again. And maybe you get tired of that. You want to cut off the ballast. Maybe you feel it like a ballast and you tell to yourself, I want to cut this whole thing down. This is what we are seeing here with this combination of cards. Sometimes if there is no solution, for some people uh, this will apply, that they see, they go into the discussion, the discussion leads nowhere. And then the thing that happens next, because you have concluded or you have deducted, there is no way out, you keep silent you are unwilling to communicate. And this could be for a longer period because the mountain is, is, a, is, is, a, is a long, a long <clears throat> excuse me, is a long period of time. So we could decide for a very long time not to speak to this person. It doesn't mean that the things will not come back, but we could decide this as a way of punishing the person. Some, sometimes some people punish with silence. This is what we are seeing here. We give them the silent treatment here. Um, there could be some bullying before and some shouting, but we are tired of that and we don't want anymore. And we give them the silent treatment. This is even if this person would provoke us, we will retreat. It's like when it starts again, it's like you're going up your mountain. You don't, you are unmoved again. It don't work anymore. Even there is, there would be something happen that is, that is extreme. You will not react to it. You just let it go. You, you just keep quiet. This is what we are seeing here. It's like we have been driven to an extreme and we choose not to go into it anymore. We are the wise one. The book is wise. You understand this here. This is what we are seeing here. Um, sometimes for some people, it will be the only solution, silence. Um, there's a saying that uh, goes uh, with silence you can make the devil dance so here is this is what we are seeing here you get the picture here uh, then we go in the third line um, with here we see the clouds um, the anchor and the person um, here we see after this silence probably there will come a res resolve you will act very serious very concentration there's a purpose here you there is a de determination here and you know how to tackle the complex situation and there will become clarity. Here in the beginning of the lane, we see unclarity. But as the situation evolves, you will see things, how they really are connected. And you will come back to certain situations, you will review them, and you will be stubbornly, because the mountain is stubborn, you will stubbornly hold on to this decision that you have taken here. Um, 
there could be some disruptions, some delays, but you will accept those because you have already made up your mind. This is what we are seeing here. Um, there could be certain sufferings here, but you want to reach your goal, your ideas, and you will keep them secret. This is what we are seeing here. You will not explain anymore. You will think there is enough explained here. It's better to have the silent treatment and you want to move on in another way. Um, this unclarity here, this will be ruled up. Some things in your life also, um, we might be holding on sometimes also, <clears throat> excuse me, to, to what which gives us foothold because we don't know what else to do. We, 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 we hold on to what is still visible, but we don't know how long this is possible. We are like, here we are stuck in confusion and then the things will clear up. This is what we are seeing here. Sometimes also it points that we are very bored by certain routines. We don't want to do certain routines anymore. It's possible also that we find our daily life boring. This is possible also. We see this also with this, uh, with this combination of cards. Um, and again, here we see that the professional situation is like we are left on our own. We need to find out. We need to work it out ourselves. I don't know. There is something going on here that the work situation is unclear. We are still there, but it's unclear what is happening there. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. Um, then we have the anchor and the woman. This is a person, the person card, you. This person longs to stability. And, and it's actually a person that is trustworthy. The anchor is very stable. So this person wants to become stable. Once we drop the anchor, we know that if a ship drops the anchor, it don't move. It stays where it is. And here we see that, that we become want to become more stable. It, but stability, sometimes it comes also with stubbornness. And we have made up our mind, and we are stubborn, and we, and we stay stubborn. This is what we are seeing here. Um, it's not easy, but this person has clearly made up their mind. This is a solid person. They are focused here. They want to find their uh, they want to find their focus back here. This is what we are seeing here. There's a certain hold for getting into the next stage. This is what uh, what these cards tell us here. Um, what? <clears throat> excuse me. What we see more here? Um, then we go in the cross. We see here if we can add something here with uh, crossing the cards. Uh, we have uh, the heart and the mountain and the clouds here. So here it's possible that this person who has a crush on you or you have a crush on is a foreigner or it might be somebody you met on the internet because both are possible. But this is a migrating bird, this is abroad, and it might be somebody in abroad. It, it might refer to a foreigner. This is what we are seeing here. Maybe we, we were in contact with that person. We already mentioned that before. It's like we are exploring what the possibilities of the heart uh, can, can bring. And maybe this is the reason why you want to travel. There is some cold heartlessness here, but also there are new possibilities. So both are possible here. We come a little bit here with the whip in a double situation because the whip is two. So this is what we are seeing here. It's possible that we want to travel towards a lover or a friend that is becoming a lover because of the relationship challenges that we are facing here. It's like our heart is grown cold in one way, but it sees possibilities in another way. Maybe there's a lack of commitment here in the current situation. Uh, maybe we are unable to, for, to see love. Sometimes also it points to no more tenderness. This is what we are seeing here. No more tenderness, no more compassion. Sometimes also it means that one of both parties is unwilling to forgive. It might not be a, a matter of, uh, of, an, of a relationship, out of the relationship, but something happened there. There is there's something happened there. Um, we cannot show, or a person cannot show affection anymore in the relationship. The mountain don't soft, soften up. He don't. He don't move. He, he, you can put water on the mountain. The only thing that happens is that he get, the, the mountain get wet, 
but it's not easy uh, for for soften a mountain up you cannot this is what some decisions there are made this is what we are uh, seeing here in another way if this turns around and you have made up your mind this is stubbornly hold on to a new love so this is then the other side so this is what we are seeing here then we have the mountain uh, and the clouds Again, here we see the obstacles. We broadcast things for certain reasons. Um, also, if you travel, if you're planning to travel and you have stubbornly made up your mind about that, be wise and wait mm -hmm. the right time. Because it could be that it's not the right time now. Sometimes the mountain tells us to be patient. The book tells us to be patient. The whip tells us if we make certain decisions, it will not be easy. The whip punishes us. So be wise, wait your time. It doesn't mean you need to interrupt communication, but sometimes it means we need to wait the right time. Maybe it's not the right time. Maybe this is not the month to do it, but it might come in the future. The heart can overcome a lot, we know that. So here, um, there will be some delays here um, in another way. It could be a big step for you and you could be hesitant towards this new love. Of course, if you know the person, you will be more eager to go here. This is what we are seeing here. Um, in a way, also, if you are in a current relationship, it's possible that one of both partners is isolating themselves. We saw this earlier, unwilling to speak. We see this here back. And sometimes also it points I would say almost like that one of both could be not in the good mood, even depressed situation here that we could see here. This person could withdraw in themselves. This is what we are seeing here. This healing process will go slowly. It's something we cannot hurry. And this is a complicated situation. So don't rush, wait your time here. The book will open when it's the right time here. There's a slow healing. Um, you will, maybe you need to endure this and it will come at the right time. It's like here, we have a hard opposition. This is what we are seeing here. Long time resistance also, it will, sometimes people say that a long time resistance makes you hard. Um, we already know, uh, we know that cancer, they, they have a very soft spot. They have a very big panzer. The cancer has a big panzer, but inside it's very soft, the heart. We know this here. So sometimes we see the heart, but we don't see inside the heart. So this is, it could be hard here that what we are facing here. We could be a little bit stuck with this situation for a while. In a positive way, the minimum with the mountain could be six months. But if things freshen up, it could go faster. It all depends how it evolves. But don't be desperate here. Don't be desperate also. Things will change. You have the store there, so there's no need for desperation. This will come. This, this, this moving, sometimes things are stuck for a certain period and we cannot move for a certain period. But it's like this, the universe always balances things out. So if things go very slow or they don't seem to move, don't worry, later up, you will catch up. You will catch up. Um, anyway, uh, we will keep our hopes up. We need to be patient here. Um, this is what we are seeing here. Um, seeing more here um, we will be looking for a way out but it will be hard to find um, if people ask you what is happening you will be sometimes also we will not be easy willing to talk about it if they start to inquire how is this and how is that you will withdraw you will not communicate too much about that uh, there could be some secrets about it and some situation that happens. And there might be people around you who know exactly what happened there, but you don't talk about it. They don't talk about it. It's like, as I said, it's the elephant in the room where nobody talks about it. But it might be later on time to move on away from this. This is what we are seeing here. It's like we are not yet sure when we will overcome this challenge. 
So Cancer, this is all for this reading. Sometimes we have hard readings, so this is one of those. It doesn't mean uh, that things are stagnant forever. This is temporary situation that we are in. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time, Cancer. Thank you for watching uh, my channel. Thank you for subscribing. And I'm sure we see each other next time. If you're interested in more um, philosophical, spiritual card readings, the spiritual card readings, they are very good guides. And sometimes you can find solutions in those also. We get very good answers out of them. They are more, they're a very different approach than this one. You should check them out for cancer here uh, if you're interested in that. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time um, and we see each other next time. Bye bye, cancer. Thank you.